are we supposed to bear injustice? Injustice um, is the outcome of people choosing to be against God. When people follow devil, um, they are doing bad things. So they may hurt people, they may do many strong actions against poor people or weak people. So this injustice happened and always happening because men are wicked and they follow evil side. They do not want to follow the good side. The good side is God's side. God created everything very good. And he put in our hearts the right and wrong. And with the conscience of man, man can choose what to do, this side or that side. So when, when we speak about injustice, first of all, we have to justify our God. He is not the source of wickedness. He is not the source of injustice. Because even Christ himself, he bared injustice. He suffered and he was, you know, uh, innocent. But he suffered the injustice of people and he was crucified because of this. That's why he can support anyone having the same problem. All the martyrs in the history of the church, they bear injustice. And you in your life, you may have sometimes when you face this, you know, incorrect decisions of others, and you may face people who just, they hate you, and even if you love them, this injustice, you have to pray strongly in order to get the grace of God so you can bear this. And you can just love your enemies. And you can never do it by yourself. You need the power of God. And you cannot do it without this help from God. So when you are Christ-like, you can love anyone. You can love your enemies. You can do the good for the bad people because you are always good, because your heart is filled with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God himself. So in order to bear injustice, you have to be the man of God.